Right, good evening. It's time for another two hours of hell. Now, uh, someone pointed out to me that I don't have any punishment games on the backlog to do, so what better way to fix that than by playing a game that I have never in my life completed? It may say Assault S Suits Vulcan, but uh, let's just call this game Cybernator. Because that's what it's called in my country. This is actually just a uh, Japanese translation patch. So I have owned this game for like a decade and a half, and I have never once beaten the game, and I don't really understand what's happening in it either. I sure hope you read the uh, story on the intro there, because I certainly did not. Ah, hello Callum. As ever, any problems with the audio and such, do ping me, because I did not do a uh, sound check for this. There is simply no time. I need all my time to be playing Outbreak these days. Might as well get that timer going as soon as we assume control. <clears throat> now, if you've ever played Cybernator, this might look a little different. As I said, I grabbed the Japanese version and patched it into English because there was uh, quite a bit of censorship that happened for the localization, and we can't be having that in our games. Not at all. So, this game, I remember it being pretty damn tough. You run around in a big mech and you shoot everything that moves. Get that timer going. And as we all know, I am uh, terrible at games that resolve around, revolve around running around and shooting things. So we'll do the best we can. But we have a few tricks up our sleeves. For one, the main character's name is Jake, so I'm more likely to want him to survive. Secondly, I didn't even find this out. It was my uh, middle brother who found out that there is a little trick to this game to get yourself a pretty powerful gun. Normally you'd want to be shooting everything around here, but... Uh, oh yeah, there's also those little boxes you see on the ground there. They contain power-ups for your guns. Your guns have levels. The Vulcan in our top right, as you see, has uh, level 1, and the 4 there, we need to bring that down to 0 in order to level it up by grabbing power boxes, but we have no time for that. No, what we need to do is just destroy this thing. So as far as I understand it, and I don't understand it much, there's a war going on over control of the precious few fossil fuel resources. And now we gotta fight some people that are trying to take over all that jazz. In the name of the United Pacified States, I think? So the little trick there is we went through the level without killing anything other than the boss. We didn't even kill the cannons on it, and that should, touch wood, have unlocked a powerful gun for us. That's what I'm banking on. But we can do better than that. Whilst the storyline is going through, let's see what chat has. Any freedom tonight. There will be freedom if and only if there's no outbreak. And there's probably going to be outbreak. Jake, is Cossacks likely to be November or more December release, or can't you say? I assure you, when it comes to something like a release date, if there's not an official word out, it's pretty certain that I can't say or don't know. Alright, our boss has told us not to crash into any asteroids. We'll do our best to follow that, because I really don't want to crash into those. Just about everything else is fair game, though can and will crash into all the blurple on the map. Ah, Krivens. Now again, I should be shooting things that are in front of me, but I managed to pick up a napalm gun here. Trouble with the napalm gun? Oh, dearie me. Well, bang goes that. I wonder if I still have my napalm gun. As we've proven before, I am no good at uh, shoot 'em ups like this. Oh, I lost my gun, eh? Well, I think uh, I think that's good enough reason to just hit that. Uh, let me just reach over my to my genuine SNES's reset button. There we go. I ain't going down like that. Yeah, I'm not so hot on the dodging things front, no doubt about that. Probably better to uh, hit the smaller asteroids than the bigger ones. So the napalm gun that you get in this game is really powerful, but you got to get through the first two missions 
without destroying anything other than the boss. And it's well worth a reload or two to try and get that. Because, like I said, I have owned this game for a very, very long time and never beaten it, not for lack of trying. Of course, it's probably not that hard. I'm just pretty bad at games, right? Of course, there was no portraits and uh, nowhere near as much dialogue in the localized version, so I guess it was hard to stay invested in it. I seem to remember in our version it would pause here before this boss, but eh, what do I know? Nothing to it. Now let's try that again and hopefully not waste another three minutes. In fact, I don't even recall ever getting very far in this game. I wonder why. Why was I so bad? Now I believe the whole getting the bonus weapon is based on score, and destroying things will give you uh, more score than is required for the super weapon, so that's why we have to not destroy things. Alright, what killed us? Was it this? Yeah, it was that. And we made it. Any more asteroids for us? Because they're the killer. Oh, okay, I destroyed one. Well, what can you do? Let's just kill everything then. So there'll be no upgrades for the napalm gun for me, but we'll just have to make through with that. I'm just trying to blitz my way through these earlier, supposedly easier levels, so that I have all the time in the world to die on the later, harder ones. That's the logic I'm going with here. It's pretty cool that we have our other mobile suit allies, but it's a shame that we don't really see them, or they don't really fight with us. Okay, as the United Pacified States would do, we are just pacifying everything in sight. Get out of here. See, why would you want to play this game without the portraits? I remember this one, and I remember it being on a timer. But that's alright. I was no good with timers as a kid, but now that I've played so many Towers of Hell, that is no problem. Just a reminder, I need to silence Skype there. Don't know why that would interfere with my genuine NES, but... Okay, we need to invade this thing and blow it up from the inside. Just the job for America. Now, I will be holding on to the napalm gun like the crutch it is, but it's not all we have. We have the Vulcan cannon that we used in the first level to take out the boss. It's pretty crap. And we have our punch, which is pretty manly. But I want to power up that punch. Get some real power on it. Forget this. 
punch all my problems away. So I'm curious, is it a case of just me, or is there anybody in the chat that has played this game before? Maybe you can offer some sound advice, since as I said, I've never beaten this before. It was more the Middle Brothers game. Bash Bosch saying I remember completing this, so apparently it'll be easy for me. Never underestimate what I can make difficult. Did Middle Brother ever beat the game? I'm not sure. Don't have an answer for that. Now, in this game, you can get shot at by the little guys. They don't do much damage, but they are annoying. So... I guess I'll, uh, I'll just have to kill any that I find. I'd be lying if I said I have any idea where I'm going here, but I think... Carrie, our uh, little helper on the microphone, told us to go left. I can do that. Now, I'm not sure if dying results in me losing the napalm gun every time. I know I lost it when I died on that uh, previous run that didn't happen. Jake, did this game do well? I do not have any figures on how this game sold or uh, how it was received. And, uh... Stands to reason that I'm not in a position to check that right now. Just letting everything hit me. Let's try to suck less and blow more. Okay, so it seems they're trying to crash this base into Earth. We can't be having that, but I do want. Health. Switching out to my uh, gun when picking up things like that in the off chance that it contains power ups for me. If it's a huge weapon, it must have huge guts. See, you wouldn't get that in uh, Nintendo of America. Or would you? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. This guy's arm does not mess around. Come on, I got two minutes to save America here, buddy. Get out! Whew. There is nothing left of me. I think if the slightest thing breathes on me, I'm a dead Jake. do it. Man, young Jake was such a casual. At this rate, my assault suit and my body will both burn up. Ah, that's no problem. If 
moving through the burning, I'm sure I'll be given a uh, full restore of hit point, right? That's right. Chasing down right to the very edge of the atmosphere. Roger. Oh, oh I've got the edge for you. Very generous of my friends not to uh, want to leave me to die. Alright, there we go. Vulcan is uh, leveled up. I think it hits a little harder now. Seems our bad guys are having problems of their own, and... Oh well. All's fair in love and war, right? Don't know why plot-wise I meant to save this guy, but I'm gonna shoot him up the arse anyway. Recall getting much further than this when I used to play it. Our friend here seems to be uh, protected by plot armor. Okay, I'm not really following the plot here, but it seems Herman is dead. Thanks to this bastard. See, this made very, very little sense without any, uh, any of the images or the portraits that were localized out of the game. I remember a lot less swearing as well. <laughs> Luke is getting right to the point. Save him by shooting him more. Yeah, Poke 3, I wouldn't be surprised if they wanted to remove the anime for the European and American releases. That said, I got Pop and Twinbee. Don't think that was localized at all. Or at least there didn't appear to be much removed from it. I might have to check that someday. And whilst I'm at it, maybe run Pop and Twinbee. Jake, is it possible to make by Paradox to have on one army full morale and what? Talking about mothballing armies, well, I'm not hot on that idea because it's extremely exploitable. This game is half schmup. It's starting to uh, really occur to me why I never beat this game. Alright, let's just go full UN squadron on the whole thing. Of 
Okay, I just picked up a new weapon. What in the world? Oh, laser. I remember loving this gun. I think I'll love it when it's a bit less uh, pathetic, though. That's what the game lacks. Mechs punching each other. Oh, God. Hmm. Didn't figure mechs could die by falling down pits. Sure hope I didn't lose my uh, napalm. Because that would suck. Man, even in a mech suit, bottomless pits are my greatest foe. Phew. Okay, so when in doubt, and even when not in doubt, take the high road. I haven't seen an upwards bottomless pit since Bionic Commando. There's this bit in Bionic Commando in one of the midway levels where if you climb up too high, the game spawns you at the very bottom of the screen and you instantly die. So if we pretend that death didn't happen at all, we're doing great. No mercy for you. Didn't think the Japanese would have any problem with uh, killing the unarmed here. Well, what do I know? Yeah, uh, like I said, let's stick to the top way. Otherwise, I'm in serious danger of dying. Now. I'm sure it told me how many continues I had. I didn't really pay attention to it, but it's probably not many. Hold on, is that... Yes, hit points. There we go, that's a lot less weedy looking a laser. Also, check that environmental destruction. Eons ahead of its time, this game. What now? Uh, is that a bottomless pit? I am not wanting to take any chances on that. But... Missiles are raining down on me. Hmm. Okay, I do not want to drop down there for fear of dying. Let's see if we can't stay up high. can't kill them. Jake, this seems like the kind of game that causes epilepsy. I'm afraid that is your problem, not mine. My eyes are already beyond repair. Okay, what do I gotta do? Uh, gonna need 
those rocket boosters. Yeah, this is a Super Nintendo game, and I believe it came out in 92. So in a surprising turn, I'm actually older than it. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. I'm really very close to death right now. Never a good feeling. close to death by completely dead and only two credits. That's not promising. And now I begin to wonder what even my problem. Now, I'm no engineer, but I really think the integrity would be compromised at this point. I don't know how long this game is, and I don't know if there's a way to get extra lives. If there is such a way, I'd love to know. Operation Soldier Soul, is that ours or theirs? Peter Wolfman saying, Jake, are you Scottish? Yes. Yes, I am. Scotsman living in Sweden. Hold up, I remember this. I made it here before, to a snowy level. Crazy game. I'm on giant mecha going skiing. I've got to hand it to this game for creativity, though. I think I'll be playing it just a little bit more cautiously, knowing that uh, lives are at a premium. <sighs> what the hell is this? Well, I'm out of here. No, that's not the solution to my problems right now. Good God.
What, do I have to fight that? Doesn't even get hurt. I love how people are identifying this as a uh, Habsburg land. Oh, good God, you need to go right now. Well, I'm only mostly dead. I've been in worse situations, right? I need to keep my eyes open for any health that's lying around. That is not health. It's quite the opposite. Are you health? You are. Alright. We've become unstoppable again. I've been very uh, ungrateful for the health the game just threw at me. I am getting a shot like it's nothing. And it is certainly... Oh, I want that. What are you? Hmm. Giant bunnies. Right, unfortunately, seem immune to my bullets. Oh, jeez. That pit did look like somewhere I should jump down, but I guess I was wrong. How many lives have been lost to pits now? Most of them? This is why I don't really play uh, so many platformers. My line of thinking is just not right for it all. Okay, but with our new information, we can just blitz through everything, right? No problem. Wants me to die. The thing about my uh, little thrusters there is they're limited like that, so if I'm uh, close to going down the pit, my fate is probably already sealed. I think I hinted at uh, doing a new campaign in Europa. I was giving it some thought for tonight, but I decided, nah, I'll do it later. But of all the countries that are interesting me, it's Trebizond right now. It's making me think, hmm. Oh, God! That doesn't look like something that I should touch. be around here somewhere. I seem to have lost my fist. And my ability to get out of here. Did 
Did I manage to soft lock myself? Because that's what it's feeling like. That's really what it's feeling like. Oh dear. Okay, well, it's a game without time limits, so, uh, unless I can somehow find a way out of here, I gotta restart. Game, please. I just want to end this. Well, you spend all your time exploiting games, and the games exploit you. No, I think, I think my, uh, my attempts to get out of here are for cannot. And my greed for this one pickup have bit me in the ass. Okay, there's no escape from here. I have actually got to restart the game. Well, it would be unsporting to reset the timer, so let's just restart it right away. Damn. Well, I hope you really enjoyed the first 30 minutes of the game. We get to see it all again. But we have no time for story now. That's the first time something has truly gone wrong in the middle of a two hours of hell, with the exception of uh, Day of the Tentacle that I accidentally closed, but that was my fault. Although, yeah, as Blue Knight and Dennis Wolf are saying there, this is a chance to grab the uh, Super Napalm. It's unlikely because requires you to actually be good at dodging things, which I am not, but I'll give it a go. Maybe I'll die on that level again, you know, just for giggles. This means I gotta fight that uh, battle that I only just won last time. Again. Okay. Come on, Napalm, don't let me down. Yeah, there was a moment with these asteroids that I kind of just gotta push through and hope for the best. I think it's coming up. Yeah. There's still another one somewhere. 
Oh, please go away, missiles. There is no time. Made it! Nice. Okay, now I just have to not hit anything else. The rockets hitting me are still A-OK. -okay. Because, you know... What is justice? Please do me a solid and go away! Oh, damn, that's... that's nasty. See, just touching those asteroids will make them explode, and I think it affects my point value, which is what it's all about. No time for story. No time. Whew. Captain Cookie Cutter says, Jake, when are you going to stream Hoi 4? As soon as I'm allowed to. I've been playing quite a lot of Hoi 4 lately and enjoying it immensely. So I would like to stream it, but it's never quite as simple as I want to. Alright. We managed to unlock Super Napalm. Of course, it will remain unsuper until we get all the uh, power stuff for it. Starting with this one. Now, I don't know how powerful Super Napalm gets. But the game owes me at least that much. The power up chips are not enough on their own. You need to grab enough of them so that you get the level up. Oh, this is a bad place to be. Let's just get pushed back a little bit, and... Um. There we go. Jake, can you tell if Hoi 4 is easier than Hoi 3? Uh, no, I can't. I didn't play enough Hoi 3 to really, uh, get an opinion on that. Jake, if it makes you feel better, the speedrun record for this game is 2022, so you've got plenty of time. Speedrun records are a terrible way to judge if a game is two hours of hell friendly or not. Okay, it can be quite telling if the speedrun record is like an hour 59. Stands to reason that I'm not going to be breaking it. But I am not that good. Knowing that those bottomless pits makes me rather nervous when I drop down. Not knowing what lies below. I'm not reading a word Claire is saying here now. I don't need to be told that my mission is to blow stuff up. Running is kind of awkward in this game. You got to double tap the direction you want to run, but sometimes it just goes nah. Just a bit tricky. Oh god, this guy. I don't have super napalm, but 
Yeah, well. Away he goes anyway. problem. No lives lost. And we still got our napalm. We can catch up and we can take our revenge on those uh, rubbish tiles that soft locked us. In life you may feel unfairly treated by things outside of your control, but it's pretty weak to moan about it. What you should do is just kill and keep moving. Okay, this is the best chance I'll get for powering up my super gun, because these guys that keep coming always drop power-ups, basing this on the power-ups I saw last time. Thanks, buddies. One more, please. <laughs> super deadly napalm time. Sorry, Rick, but you're dead. Kill and keep moving sounds like the advice of a serial killer, Jake. Well, if you're going to do something, do it to the best of your abilities. Eat my fist for all the troubles you've caused me. And that's the last we'll ever see of Herman. Like last time, I think there's nothing to do but wait for this asshole to show up. He seems to be defended by plot armor. But I sure ain't. I personally used Mr. Bean's tutorial guide to learn Hoi 3 with Germany. I always just learned the grand strategy games by playing. I feel sorry for anyone who learnt them through me. Okay, now here's the tutorial for your very own Ryukyu World Conquest. Stop flying into missiles like they're power-ups. It's definitely one of my uh, weaknesses. Not feeling any difference from my super napalm right now, but. Uh, perhaps the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Oh, 
I think it has longer range. the death pits be careful well thank you for the words of advice I mean it's not like I am purposefully trying to get killed by death pits I assure you that much all right when I'm blocking the super napalm does not recharge I guess that applies for all my weapons It's been too long since I had a big exploit for Europa, but uh, it's also been quite a while since we've had a new patch. The trouble is, I find loads of exploits with Europa, but they don't see the light of day, because they are solved before uh, release. So what can I do? Well, I can die here, I do not have the uh, energy for this. Kyohei San saying, first time catching Jake live, oh dear. Sorry, it had to be this. This ain't gonna go good. This is gonna go quite the opposite of good. Jake, what's your favorite exploit you found that didn't make it live? Uh, I really wonder if I could actually say that. Probably couldn't. Oh, I am on death's door here. Feels like not being alive right now. Son of a gun. Get compromised. There is no room for a Soviet in the space race. Whew. I think from the intro the war had uh, really grown to affect loads of areas in space, but now that one of our colleagues are dead, we've got to end the whole war. will survive by not getting soft-locked this time. No time for your yakking. Only time for skiing. Am I right or am I right? That's okay, I know I'm right. out a bit better than this though, because that snake's probably gonna tear me a new one. Alright, nice. Okay, we're almost back to where we were before the uh, incident. I 
wonder what happens when I die with the uh, Super Vulcan. Let's hope we don't find out. Uh, not Super Vulcan, Super Napalm. Being at the top of the screen ended me last time. Let's take care that that does not happen again. I'm not bitter, I swear. It's like I'm just letting them hit me. There we go. Let's maintain a semblance of staying alive. So we're staying away from both the bottomless pits and the top of the screen, because both like to kill us. Can't Jake show any exploits he finds during Dev MPs? Those are hot code, right? Well, the thing is, I'm narrating it, I'm not uh, playing. And whilst I am trying to figure out a way to spawn rebels and use them whilst in observe mode, it's uh, not working out so well. Oh god, here comes that thing I can't touch. Make way. Now we stay comfortably not at the top of the screen. Don't want to go through all that again. I mean, how much time did we lose there? A lot of it, but okay. That's the garbage place. Yeah, you see those two blocks that are in the way, the grey one and the spotted orange one? Probably just rubbish tiles that were forgotten. Or I am too stupid to get out of that kind of trap. Both valid arguments. Are you a pit? You look like a pit. But you might not be. No, we've been lower than this. Let's go for it anyway. Whew. Hate. I hate games with leaps of faith. Okay, I gotta do what exactly? With less than half of my health? Because if it's destroy everything, well, that's what I signed up for. I joined the military to kill people. Oh, dear God, that thing hits like a truck! What do I have to do here? Destroy or destroy? Or just get destroyed? Okay, there's no real proof that I have to destroy the mobile weapons. Okay, it's even telling me to ignore them. Ignore it, rather. Oh, 
Open that set. If only I could read, I might know what's going on. Really though, Jake just wants to do some more skiing. Alright, half the time is gone. I don't know how much is left of the game, but... Like we were told, the speedrun record for this is about 20 minutes. we can succeed, right? I'll be happy if I can, because I have never beaten this game before, yet I've always owned it. Since I was two! Didn't take me long to ascend from Thomas the Tank Engine SNES game to Cybernator. Okay, sounds promising. Soldier's End. Ah, good night, Blue Knight. Alright, our sweetheart Claire wants us to live. Pains me to do what a marriageable woman tells me to. I feel like I'm just running through this getting killed by everything. Probably not smart. Oh hell, I'm already almost dead. Let's take this a little easier. Gonna win this harder than we won Vietnam. may call it napalm, but I think this is Agent Orange we're blasting here. Blitz Cafe. Good heavens. Am I really fighting for the good guys here? Seems like this is the final mission, Jake. Perfect time for another soft l Perfect time for getting shot in the back, it seems. Health, please. I'm not talking about people that can't hold out. I am on my... Last legs, thanks to a little scrub lord there. Whew. Health is for weaklings and blurples, Jake. Thanks. This is Jake. I'm starting to get wrecked. Okay. Alright, sweetheart's dead. But that's okay, we're still alive. We were still alive. I guess Claire dying kills us on the inside. Ok, 
Okay, must have been a little scrub like that that was shooting us. Ah, that would have been the guy. Couldn't even see him behind the burning wreck. Sassino is saying, on what keep playing this game? PC, Nintendo, or maybe PS2? This is a Super Nintendo game. Kind of flattered that you think it's a PS2 game. United Pacific States Army. Oh man, I thought it was uh, pacified or something like that. President Shekelmark. Time for you to die. Oh god, it's the European Union! Grey skin! Well, time to slaughter every Habsburg I find. Give up or I'll kill you. Sorry, I've already killed you. Oh my, that's dark. And this is why we play the Japanese version, instead of the localized version. I don't want bullets to the head being localized out of my games. Angela Merkel von Habsburg! Oh right, there's gameplay. Why am I skating backwards? It makes no sense! Fight for comrades. Oh, God. And when nothing else can stop me, a bottomless pit comes out. Oh, shoot. Credits one is pretty high on the list of things I didn't want to see right about now. Not again! <laughs> uh, oh, snap. I think I lost three lives to bottomless pits there. And I am smack back to the start? Well... Damn. Oh, damn. <sighs> Something that was looking like a surefire win is looking like a surefire death. How long did that take me anyway? Hmm. Well, time was not a uh, generous mistress. First soft locked, second time bodied by the floor. 
Is this the curse of Cybernator? There's no time, boss. Get out of my way. It took you about 40 minutes to get there after the soft lock, I think, Jake. Okay, well, I have 50 minutes, so barring any mishaps, we should be okay. And I mean, I'm so experienced now. I should have no problem, right? Bollocks. Alright, can I do this without crashing into asteroids again? There is another question. Uh. Cruel game. Oh! Ah! Damn, there goes our Super Vulcan. I'm left with crappy Vulcan for the rest of the game. Oh well. It was a crutch all along. get the quick kill on that nice and easy. Chops off half my face, but we'll go with it. Come on, Claire, I got no time for your rubbish. Jake, you died on your way to the final boss just to make it more tense for us. How nice for you. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. I mean, I could never purposefully die to the same bottomless pit again and again, could I? Right, but I think... I think I see how to get through it now. The, uh... The small issue I was having there was I was jumping too early and just hoping and praying that I would land in the right spot, when what I needed to do was wait before the bottomless pit showed itself before jumping, then I would be safe. Right. Be no problems. Okay, but there ain't no time for messing around here. Not with you, not with any of you. Jake's on a mission here. Nakataka says, when did Jake get so good? That'll be sometime in the future, I think. Guess this is the early level teaching you that little guys are not to be underestimated, and they will wreck you if given half the chance. There's a bit when you're falling down here that seemed like it would be like a little bonus room to get to. Let's see if I can hold out for that later on. Or if I'm just a fool who sees a little bottomless pit and thinks, I bet there's goodies down there. Come on, Jake, there's no time for faffing about. But I gotta know. Ah, 
that's the one I mean. Nope, can't do it. I'm having my health though. Yep, having that health. Phew. Watching that timer tick down, it's uh, such a familiar feeling. Tandy is right, I have a date with Destiny after this, I need to play more Outbreak. Alright, no time for you, just die. I've got a planet to save. i got a speedrun record to break for Cybernator. Claire's yakking right now. Man, this could have all been done in like 40 minutes. Instead, it's just soft locks and bottomless pits for me. Whew. Yeah, Resident Evil Outbreak, it is just one of the best games. Nothing been made quite like it before or since. the uh, Vulcan here. After all, I need a better Vulcan to keep shooting Rick with. I wonder if he can miss landing on the Vulcan. Giraffe showing off his terrible taste by saying my impression from seeing 50 seconds of this game is that it is crap. Just because I'm crap at a game doesn't make it garbage. This guy and the problems he causes me. Alright, you're watching Herman die for what the third time now? swearing in this game. Not good for my PG-13 stream. Might as well take this moment to praise the PS4 controller that I'm currently using because it is one of the best controllers I think I've ever laid my hands on. It's hard to put my finger on it, but I am feeling that uh, crappy napalm is fairly crappy compared to glorious napalm. How am I really meant to strike fear into my enemies' hearts with this? We're 
still good, kind of. Oh, damn right, I gotta be so careful with my health here, actually, since I uh, have to deal with the big uh, rocket ship after this. Rocket ship don't mess around. We did pretty good with it when we had the big laser beam, though, so let's kill just about everything we see. And I hope we get some power up and some, uh, perhaps more importantly, health. Great music. Take a moment to praise some music as well. It's pretty good. It's nice and all, but Napalm just has that punch that I need at the moment. Waste this time with you last time. There we go. Excellent. Got pretty damn nifty lasers now. Just what the doctor ordered. Faith still a leap of faith after you've made it once? I think so. Mostly because my memory is terrible. Laser is nice and all, but I think I will rely on the napalm to take out the gunners first, the ones that are on the rocket ship. And I can laser the rest of it. Three-fifths of my health should be plenty for that. Alright. Down you go. Down you go. And down goes the rest of you. Hmm. It's pretty effective. Except, I think I can just concentrate my fire on the top, and it's just as good. <laughs> Down she goes. In this reality as well, ain't no Soviets in space. You know what would help the PG-13 stream shake? More rants. I kind of miss rants. I want more of them in my life. Having seen all the various routes that you can go through in Sengoku rants, I want to replay it just to see them all, but there is the constraint that there is just not enough time in the world. Alright, so far we have all the lives. We can afford to jump into that bottomless pit probably about three times and still be fine. my napalm so rubbish against this thing. It's making mincemeat out of me. Whew. 
Phew. Still got this, in a way. We can jump into the bottomless pits three times and still be fighting Jake's tempting fate as usual. <sighs> okay, this friend again. But if we hang around here, he's just gonna make mince me out of us. Ah, uh, oh, shoot. Well, make that two times into the pit. That blows. Because other than that, there's nothing very threatening around here, and there is plenty of life to be had. Whew. Right, 126. There is no time for faffing around here. I just gotta kill and keep moving. It was healthier, right? Yep. Why use the translation learn to read moon? Well, you wouldn't be able to read it, would you? Oh, actually, I should be careful with my health here as well, since this is where we found the, uh, the big bad that ripped us apart last time. That's the mobile suit that comes for us later, right? Oh well, we can't worry about that right now. Nope, no, that looks like a recipe for death. Okay, on the other hand, I got nowhere else to go, so... Ah, uh, no, this is junk texture room. Jumping down holes. Does bad things to my heart. Whew. Ahoy, Christoph. Good God! I am not doing so hot on this attempt. I blocked his attack, but he ended up just chain hitting me. So that's no good. Alright, maybe I'll just spend my time killing them as they come out. And once no more come, I can keep going. Oh, not again, not again. Jeez, he's causing me a whole heap of ass right now. Okay, taking care of that, now we can just kill him. Because you know it's that easy, right? Oh shoot, you stay the heck away with that attack. Yeesh.
Okay, so two deaths, and I think we're only allowed three, so let's just not go down the bottomless pit, full stop. <sighs> After all, we haven't even uh, come to blows with the big bad of all of this yet. Okay, I need to be careful here since uh, we almost died here. And that almost dying... ...quite possibly led to later certain dying. Much as I hate to go slow. That said, I quite like the animation of uh, walking around like this. Well, maybe I could just do this. Hmm. No, it just lacks the oomph that Napalm has. Killing the little scrotes on the ground is... a pain. Your words ring true to me, Kurt. Don't do anything. I'm actually feeling the pressure here. Feeling the pressure quite a bit. I really don't want to be put back to square one. Especially since I lost two, uh, two lives that were just giveaways. Hello, Blitz Cafe. Yeah, it really ain't so easy as just not going down the pit. If it was that case, then nobody would ever lose it, Super Mario. side of caution by using the laser here. Yeah, and then just accidentally rushing into bullets. See what happens to our laser when it gets even bigger, but that may not end up being a reality. Oh hell. Okay, now I gotta take on Shekelmark, leader of the UN, without my super uh, napalm. All I get is regular napalm. Killing me will bring back your damn honey. I was well and truly saved by uh, getting that health pick up there. That's the deep, dark truth. I played through it all just to see him die again. 
Of course, the game doesn't give me fresh health here, does it? Why would it do that, after all? I think one of you guys gives me health. I'm gonna need it, you know, right now. Please. That's the spirit. Okay. Hups a daisy. <laughs> Nothing to. Oh, hell no. What are we fighting for? Uh, holy crap. <sighs> yeah, that was the guy we saved earlier, Rick, I believe, and what now? Oh my god. <laughs> ha ha ha. This is Buildvorg, our army's final mobile weapon. <sighs> what are you going to do? I'm going to smear you all over the hangar. Okay. Well, at least he's got a reward for me. That's kind of nice. Oh, I don't think I'm going to like his reward. Oh, I don't like his reward. Yeah, you got a weak point. I need you to have a weak point right now. Need you to have a weak point right now, buddy. The fist, maybe? Yeah, the fist glows when I shoot it. I'll go with that, but then... I, I glow when I get shot, too. <sighs> okay, buddy, time for the one shot. Oh, okay, I think I did destroy something there. What, what, what do I hit now? This thing? Oh, this looks good. I got people waiting for me. What do you have? Ah, oh, shoot, you got... Super fast firing... Oh, what? oh, this looks killable. And I'm not just talking about myself right now. Oh, conditioned red. That sounds deadly. Oh, no. Oh. That's no good. That's no good at all. <sighs> Close, but no cigarillo. No, that, uh, that death crushed my spirits. I'm going to call it there, and just uh, call it an altogether loss. <sighs> If I'm going to beat this, it's going to have to be on a redemption. Oh, that was tragic. I will beat this game someday, but that day is not today. I'm just going to add two to the punishment list. And now I think Outbreak calls for me, so cheers folks, I will be back during the week, probably with some new Europa. And, well, now I guess I've got two punishments. In any case, cheers, folks. That's me away. Ciao for now.